1991 ushered in seminal gaming releases such as Sid Meier's Civilization, Lemmings and Street Fighter 2. Yeah, yeah. But who cares about them because we got Toe Jam and Earl. <laughs> Toe Jam and Earl was a dungeon crawler of sorts and a flawed game in many ways. It was very difficult to finish, and much of your success relied on pure luck. And just look at this box art. Isn't it delicious? You could be forgiven for thinking that this would be the worst game you would ever play, and the initial sales reflected that. But there was something a bit special about Toe Jam and & Earl, and word of mouth soon spread and the game became a cult classic. Not only was it packed with a respectable amount of jazz punk fusion, but out of all of the video games that featured alien rappers, Toe Jam & Earl was the best. And that music, that music! I find myself singing it all the time. It's a permanent part of my brain seared into its grey matter. The story goes like this. Toe Jam foolishly lets Earl drive, which means you crash land into a strange, surreal version of Earth. Your mission becomes one of collecting spaceship parts until you can get off the planet for good. You could play the single player or co-op with a friend, which was the most fun. And every NPC in this game was weird and twisted and deadly. Swarms of bees, lawnmower men, little devils, they were all brutal and punishing. But nothing was as terrifying as the Boogeyman. This game did a lot of fantastic things. For a start, it had its own soundboard, so you could create your own custom fat beats. But the actual levels were randomly generated, suspended on platforms in space. So each playthrough felt new and different. Elevators would take you to the next level, but if you fell off the edge, you'd be sent back to the previous one. And that happened a lot. Walking on roads made you move faster, and you could never work out what was going to be in a present that you picked up. And quite often, what you unwrapped would hinder you rather than help you. It even had stealth. Enemies would often fall asleep so you could creep past them. Fantastic mechanics and such variety. And that co-op, this was my go-to co-op game when I was a kid. Sessions were long and tough, and teamwork was key. And if you walked too far away from your co-op buddy, the screen would split, just like the LEGO games do now, and every co-op game should have done since Toe Jam & Earl. I'll always remember the day I finally beat it. And that walk home to my friends and family, who were all strangely happy to see me. The sequel, Panic on Funkatron, was bland and messy in comparison, and became my first ever overhyped video game disappointment. Such was the power of that original oh-so-alien adventure. Jam on, Toe Jam & Earl. Jam on forever.